All right, so we are here at Drexel University with three of our founding fathers. We had just established positions tonight, and I just wanted to ask you guys a few questions tonight, but I also wanted you uh, to introduce yourselves. So we'll start here, and then we'll just go right down the line. Sure. My name is Jason Brown. I was selected uh, president for the new chapter. My name is Ryan Galata. I was selected vice president of recruitment for this chapter. My name is George Angelson, and I was selected for recruitment today. Awesome, guys. So. I want to ask you a few questions uh, tonight. First question, uh, what, what, and we'll go right down the line again. What was it about Delta Sigma Phi that stood out to you as opposed to some other organizations on campus? You have a lot of options. Um, what was it about this one that said that, that made you say, yes, I want to join this organization and be a contributing member? Mm -hmm. I think it was definitely the ability to come in and make a change. You know, right off the bat, you, know, you see a lot of fraternities around campus, and there's no way you can really get in and you know, make a change and make something out of nothing. Um, the opportunity presented itself, you know, to join this fraternity and you know create something that really lasts. You know, so I think that's what I'm trying to get out of this and why I sort of hop on board. Um, I joined because Delta Sig is not typical. It is your atypical environment. We are surrounded by the greatest group of guys that I know at Drexel University. And the thing that really made me in was the video. Um, that we had watched in one of our sessions about how Delta Sig is completely different, how they're not typical, how they're different, and how they want to change the world. So that's why I joined. And I joined because I feel that uh, it was it would be uh, easier to Im impact, have an impact on the community as a whole uh, in this kind of an organization if you could start it from the ground up with great group of guys, like the guys to my left, and a bunch of others who can be with us right now. Uh, it's also because, as, as was said previously, it's an atypical organization. Uh, you get the chance to start from scratch and create uh, this, this thing that uh, hopefully all the, people, all, all the people who join after us can just look at and say, wow, all right, that's a legacy we want to follow. That's something follow in your footsteps, uh, basically just do something, do something great, be a part of something bigger. Nice. Awesome, awesome guys. Um, I guess the, the next question, uh, I know we'll end with today, kind of keep it a little bit short here, but the, the next question was, where do you see this fraternity going? What's your vision for, for this organization, uh, maybe specifically with, with your position? Um, Maybe some ideas that you have to take take this and, and run with it, or maybe it's just on an overall scope of you know with this national organization with Drexel University, with Delta Sigma Phi, you know what's your vision on this campus? All right, um, you know so from my perspective as president, uh, it's twofold. So one, I want the organization itself to be very cohesive. I want you know everyone to be a brother. I want everyone to relate to each other as friends. But also, I want to immediately come and make an impact on campus. So, you know, joining up with other you know, fraternities or other sororities and doing things like that, where we come in and it seems you know like we were here the whole time, is pretty much the, the end goal. And we're doing it better than anyone, anyone else could. Um, I definitely see the, the uh, Delta Sig fraternity surpassing all the other fraternities here um, by being better people, by being a better group of men than anybody else could be, and by doing that by getting everybody together, helping around in the community, helping in the uh, university, and becoming part of a great organization that is nationwide, along with being a Drexel University chapter. And uh, I just, I would have to say, I look forward to uh, just becoming a well-established fraternity uh, and restoring uh, the old term of fraternity as opposed to what it has become nowadays, as opposed to the, uh, oh, it's all, it's a frat, you know, let's let's party and you know just try and hang with the bros. No, I'd rather it become more about the fraternity. Like it's a brotherhood. Uh, you have to earn the right to be in it, but once you're in it, you know you're embraced like a brother, and you do wonderful things. So I have to say, I just want to see fraternity back to its old meaning. You know, I'd, I'd say its true meaning. Mm -hmm. so. Nice. I, I think that's those are some strong words from some strong gentlemen, and there's a reason you guys have positions uh, in this chapter. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, that you were in the positions you're in, 
and that you're here to contribute to this organization, not only here at Traxel, but on that national level too. So we will see all three of you at the summit coming up in January. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know you guys are excited about that. We're excited about it as well. And I thank you guys for sitting down and chatting a bit about your experience with Delta Sigma Phi and what your vision is. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.